<laughs> yes, as soon as the camera's on, it starts going up. No primer strike. Alright, this is bizarre. Seriously. Gearheads, Jeff with Gear Report, and we're about to see the first shots of the UTAS. This is a UTS 15. As I understand it, it's not official, you know, company terminology to call it a Gen 1, Gen 2, Gen 3. This is the original configuration, it has not been modified. Uh, it is brand new, these will be the first shots through it. On the right side, I've got uh, one in the chamber and then four rounds of the green shells that is remington gun club target loads it's an eight ounce shot two and three quarter length shells on the other side i've got five of the red hulled uh, federal target loads uh, this is a seven and a half ounce shot so uh, basically these are bird shot loads just for some initial testing and uh See if we can hit some plays that we have set up on the ground over here. All right, I did chamber, didn't I? All right, it's not all the way into the battery here. Those are both in. That's good. Back on safe. All right, not a good sign. See if this one will go in. Alright, I think we're in battery this time. Back on fire. Nope. Alright, what are we doing wrong here? It is loading. Alternate it. Alright, we are... It appears locked out like we're in battery. We're on fire. And now it's popping. When I pull the trigger, the slide is, all right, let me show you. It ejects, loads a new one. I'm on safe, off of the trigger. Now, the slide will not move. So I'm gonna switch it to fire. Slide's still not moving. Now when I pull the trigger, If I get fires, it releases the slide so I can cycle it. Alright, safe. None of these have primer strikes. Not a good sign, folks. That one didn't eject. This one didn't drop in to load correctly. Alright, so we're empty. No idea. Not the way we like to start a relationship with a firearm. Hey, it is what it is. UTS-15. Gearheads, I gotta tell you, I'm confused. Uh, this UTS-15 has got me dumbfounded. We <laughs> came out and put 10 rounds in it. Put, uh, you know, the green shells in one side, the red shells in the other. It's a uh, you know, Remington and Federal bird shot. Uh, just so we could alternate them, make sure that the alternating mag uh, function worked well. Loaded them up, cycled them through. I wouldn't even get primer strikes on them. 
you know, I pull the trigger and click, it unlocked the slide so I could rack it, put a new round in, eject the old one. But they weren't even getting primer strikes. We were actually wondering, is there even a firing pin in here? Um, really, really bizarre. But uh, we are just playing with it here, trying to figure out, okay, what's going on? And I threw a round in, pulled the trigger, nothing. Put it in again, pull the trigger, boom! Wait a second, what happened? It's working now? I don't know what's going on, but we got a few more rounds here. What is this? Uh, three in that side, four in the other. So let's uh, let's see what this does now. Oh, that's a spent one. Good. So now we're chambered. Feels good. We're on fire. See how she fires. <laughs> yes, as soon as the camera's on, it starts to burn up again. So, um, no primer strike. Alright, this is bizarre. Seriously. So now we got a green one again. Okay, try this one again. Hit me in the hand. See, that's why I wouldn't have receiver when I play football. All right, now it's got a light strike on that one. This is bizarre, folks. I don't know. I don't know if it's part of the break-in period. Because these are the very first shots. Alright, so what, we had two off camera, two shots where it, it fired. It's like, whoa, it fired. Give me another one. And put it in and it fired. And then what you just saw, that was that's it for this gun so far. Yeah, I don't know if it, the pin, we were discussing if the pin had the possibility of being stuck a little bit. Um, the ejection and the alternate, uh, alternate um, magazine feed is working properly, um, but that uh, misfiring issue uh, is troubling. When it fired, uh, and, and we'll compare this to the Bullpup Unlimited with the Mossberg 500 that we have been, you know, we, we, we tried to shoot this, it didn't work, went and got the, the Bullpup Unlimited. That worked like a champ, let me tell you, that little sucker is fun to shoot. And with a big recoil pad on the back, a big soft recoil pad, it, it doesn't feel bad. I, I like it. I'm gonna, we're going to shoot that one some more today. So then pick this up just to try to troubleshoot and got it to shoot a little bit. And I got to tell you, I don't know if you noticed, the first few shots I wasn't really seating it that well. And it was jerking into me some. That was a little unpleasant. This has got a more, uh, I don't know, more violent kick. Is that a good way to put it? Uh, than the Bullpup Unlimited with that nice fat Remington pad on the back of the Bullpup Unlimited. It just kind of eases in there real nice. This set has more abrupt of a kick to it, so maybe it just needs to be broken in. Maybe it needs some lube. I don't act right when I need lube, so maybe that's it. I don't know. We'll see. UTS-15 from Utahs.